we're gonna be working on a Melex golf cart. It got it very, very cheap. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is actually test the motor. Uh, the gentleman said it was working whenever they parked it, uh, but they were gonna use, they had another one that they were using all the time. The batteries went dead. They just never did buy new batteries. Uh, so we'll find out. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually just test the motor down there. Uh, I'm going to take a jumper and put a jump box to it and just see if the wheels will roll. We'll do what we can. I'll show you what I can kind of tight down there. Uh, and I've never done this. I actually did like you're probably doing right now. You're looking on YouTube for some information. Uh, it looks pretty simple, so we'll take you along for the ride. Hold on. Got this thing up on a floor jack here, small one. Uh, gonna put some jack stands up underneath here right now. Let me go see if I can find them and get at them. Not a whole lot of room up underneath there for a big old fella. You need a lot of room for a little fella. Let's go get some tools. Hey, how y'all doing? I'm going to get ready to test my 36 volt motor on my golf cart. Uh, before I do any further work to it, I bought it very inexpensive. So just want to test the motor to make sure that it is uh, worth proceeding from here. So I'm, I'm going to test my 36 volt motor with a 12 volt jumper pack. Uh, you can use car battery with jumper cables. As long as 12 volts be fine. Uh, very simple it seems to be. So what I'm going to need, what I have is a jumper cable and a jumper box. Uh, and what you need to do, I'm going to try to zoom you in here, down here to my little... You have an S2 and an A2 on the motor and you have an S1 and an A1 on the motor. You got to locate those uh, make sure you disconnect all the wiring and then you're going to take this which is a jumper cable from A2 to S1 you're just going to connect the two together with this again A2 to S1 with this jumper cable and you're going to take the battery box or positive cable and put it on the S2 you're going to take the negative and put it on the A1 again you're going to take the jumper cable from A2 to S1. You're going to take the positive cable from the jumper box to S2. You're going to take the negative from the jumper box and put it on A1. And once you do that, you should be able to turn on the switch and it should run if the motor is good. If not, we'll go down another avenue from there. But we're, that's what we're going to try it now. I want to show you what guys what I'm going to be doing because it's real tight up underneath this golf cart. Not going to be able to really get up underneath there and show you everything. I figure this is pretty self-explanatory. It helps out a lot with, for me anyway. So uh, let's go see. Okay, guys, I know that's not a real good shot, but it's the best one I got. 
uh, we're going to again disconnect those wires there that are on the mower. I mean, the, I'm sorry, I'm working on the mower too. Uh, working on this golf cart motor. Uh, we're going to disconnect it. Then we're going to put the jumper to it in the jump box. And we'll go from there. The battery went dead. Well, I'm filming this, so I don't know what I got or what I didn't get. Uh, disconnecting these half inch nut or yeah nuts taking it off the log gonna go from the gonna put a jumper on here in just a few minutes this motor works that's gonna mean we'll proceed from there I will go from uh, after that, we'll actually clean up these uh, solenoids and looks like a controller of some type. <clears throat> oh, I think they marked. Yes, they are. Okay, let me go get the jumper. So we'll be doing A2 to S1. A2 is here at the top on the right. Now get back up underneath there and uh, put this on the S1. This one's right there. Not real hard, it doesn't seem to be. Let's keep our fingers crossed that this motor's going to work. I was told it did. Of course, I didn't pay enough money for it to really worry about it. If not, I can scrap it for what I paid for it to make money. I really don't want to do that. I really want to fix it up and have something for the yard here. Frame looks pretty good. It's just where the box. battery workers corroded. it. I thought I had that thing tightened up. But there you go. And I'm not going to worry about snugging these down too tight just for the simple fact it's temporary. Now go get the jump box, hook it up. We'll go from there. Okay. We're going to take the S2, or the positive cable, to the S2, which is up here at the top. Just clip it on there. Then we're going to take the negative cable and put it on A1. Which A1 is on the bottom, right there. Okay, now let's see what we got. Let me get over here where I get at it. All right, let's take it to the wheels. The wheel there, let's see what we got. Well, guys, I think that is uh, good.
Okay, that's how you test a 36 volt golf cart motor with a 12 volt battery. Uh, very simple. Basically, four, hook, four, four things to hook up, then you can test. If you would, guys, if you like this, I'd like to see some others. I'm actually going to do a whole rebuild on this. If you'd like to see the rest of that, just let me know in the comments. Uh, we'll go from there. As always, let's get at it.